More people are embracing arts and culture in Singapore, with ticketed arts attendance surging 55% last year. According to the Singapore Cultural Statistics for this year, the number rose from about 1.4 million in 2010 to 2.1 million last year. The number of arts performances also rose by 14% to about 8,600 compared with the previous year. The government is building on this momentum with more arts and cultural programs. Sarah Gross with more. The streets say a lot about the heritage of the country. Jalan Basar has plenty of that, like this stadium and the former Victoria School. Its heritage and culture are now captured in an enhanced Jalan Basar Community Heritage Trail, signaling the start of the next wave of community engagement by the National Heritage Board, or NHB. Previously, NHB used to be the one who would uh, drive the entire project, but right now it's like a ground up project. So we went to the grassroots organisations and the residents, and actually they contributed quite a lot of their own stories. We have managed to train a group of guides to actually do community-led uh, guiding as well for these trails. Whether it's through dance, food or a place, the NHB wants to help the community and non-profit organizations drive this ground up through a $2.8 million grant scheme. They're in line with calls by the Arts and Culture Strategic Review Committee for more ground up cultural development. We think that's important not to sort of uh, mess it down or dumb it down but actually bring it down to a wider community. We want to make sure that Singaporeans participate in all the activities that we have organized for them. Other agencies have also lined up programs throughout the year to engage Singaporeans at different life stages. In September, the National Arts Council will have an arts platform for seniors to showcase their talents, while the People's Association will hold community arts and culture activities every month.